Hello everyone, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's resume our complete beginner's guide to Lightyear Frontier, shall we? Alright, well, it's nighttime, and you can see it's raining, so that's a big win for us. Let me go ahead and sleep at our new little house here. Just to uh, pass to the next day and go ahead and get our crops going. I am. Get the polyberry oil going. And get the plant oil going. Whatever I need. Speaking of that, I do believe somebody was telling me, and I think I saw this in the patch notes. You can go start, you can go settings, you can go audio, and uh, maybe it's in game. Yeah, here you go. So you can basically turn off um, the ambient dialogue from Piper so she doesn't just, like, you know, talk. But I think there, um, maybe it hasn't happened yet, but I thought that they have increased the ability to reduce her dialogue even more, but maybe they will. If you don't like hearing her talk, you can at least turn off her ambient dialogue so she won't just jibber-jabber to you. All right, and let's see here. It looks like we have a lot of polyberries done, which is nice, but the rest of the crops need some more time. No problem. Got some weeds over here. All right, so let's get in our... There we go. Seeds. Meow. Um, okay. All right. Wonderful. And that's all the seeds that I have at the moment. That's all I really am super interested in doing. So I need carrot oil and... I need a bunch of Ravage oil to get the rest of these upgrades. We need to build uh, the flower press so we can do that. Actually, let me see. Did I already do that? I built the shed. Looks like I need to uh, build the flower press, get it put in here. And then... Um, I need to go back, and I need to say... Do I want a color mixer? Sure. I'll just put it over here. Oh. Pushed the wrong button. There. You know what I might buy? It's just some more Ravage seeds. Nine, to be precise. Let's look at my inventory here. I have a few things I can sell to the good vendor. I also have just a bunch of regular polyberries we could sell. If we really wanted to. Queue up some more here. All right. So let's talk to our good buddy. I bet I have just the thing you need. Wonderful. Um, a llama topiary is on oh. sale. I'll buy it. And then we're going to sell petrified eggs. You drive a hard market. I like it. Do I? Okay. Um, and then we're going to sell some polyberries because she gives you a good price. You know, I don't need... I'll make 1800 Ooh, Let me take that off your hands. And then I said I'm going to buy... Uh, let's actually, we can buy 18. 18. And uh, we'll buy the vintage engine on sale. Nice Alright, great. Doing business with you. Pleasure. Alright, so then let's go building and let's go over here and we'll build some plots. And I'm going to kind of, yep, put one there. Oh. Here, put it right here. Oh no, there's something blocking it. It's like a little plant that we would need to destroy with our saw. 
right here. Meow. Now we can go back and put the plot in. All right. And we're going to go ahead and add Max. Oh, oh my gosh. I got out. That's not what I meant. We'll put the fiber in. And we'll put the fiber in, but we're out of wood. So let's go get some. Wonderful. Three trees at once. Tremendous. There we go. Alright, now that's all planted up, and that looks tremendous. I'm going to go ahead and put some stuff away to free up some space. The heavy stuff. There we go. Look at this box. It's doing great. Wonderful. I will take out these seeds. Now, let me see about making some fodder. Um, I'll make some fine fodder. I like to have 12. Here we go. And go ahead and get you making polyberry oil. There you are. Okay. So, we still need copper. Um, but, let's go ahead and poke around... in uh, this zone and see what it would take to restore it. So we want to keep exploring the zones that are around us and see what they would take. I'm not really super concerned about feeding anything in this area because these resources, aluminum, polyberries, coal, Coal is okay, but for the most part, I'm not after this at the moment. So I like to kind of prioritize what I'm going to do with my day. And I'm just going to head around here. And I'm going to try to find my way into this zone that we have labeled, and this is the way. So if I go up this, we will find the yellow forest, and we need to restore the yellow forest. Ah, now here is a uh, color flower, and we got the color flower, so we can build the color flower press as they want us to. And you see these bones up here, this giant dinosaur guy, and let's see, can I vacuum you? No. So this area we cannot get yet because we need to upgrade our vacuum to pull up these weeds and then what about this slime can I get you with my current hose so I can get this slime and clear it out but the vacuum harvester is going to need a touch up so that's fine um, 
And let's go ahead and mark this one then. And see what's going on at this other zone here. Okay, so this is Mountainside Coast. Now, Mountainside Coast, talk to me. What's going on here? Well, here's some slime, but you see how it has these layers in it, like almost like it's lava or marbled? It says irrigation hose required. Upgrade required. So we can't clear out the Mountainside Coast because we need to upgrade our hose. So instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the map, and we're just going to um, go down to Step 7 Peak and then head our way back up to the Edge Cliffs and pick up copper, all that stuff. So I'm actually going to cut over this way, climb up. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah, some ex exciting stuff on that ledge. Some glowy things, but in general, I just kind of, myself, hold off on these areas that I don't have the technology for and come back later when I do so I can actually get more information, see what resources they have. There's some petrified eggs up on that perch if I was so inclined. All right. So Stepstone Peak says hello, and we say, um, hi. Well, we can clear some of this. So there's, you know, no reason not to do a little bit of damage while we're up here to the gross stuff. And, uh, oops. We're at 18%. Go ahead and just get some water here. By the way, there is an upgrade later down the line that allows you to have further reach with the vacuum harvester, and it's so great. Alrighty. So this is an area, the Stepstone Peak, that we can actually do everything now. So, might as well. It is going to take us a little bit longer to clear it because it's got the slime. But with what we have, we're able to pull up these weeds and get this cleared. So let's do it. It'll be a new area. We can maybe find some new resources. And this is kind of the, the progress that we want. There's also an upgrade that we can get that will improve our capacity for the irrigation hose. So all of these things will just make our life easier when we're doing these jobs. But honestly, they do a great job of just putting, you know, water nearby. So it's not that bad. We're at 53% in this zone. And you can see, look, there's resources right here. This is actually iron. Now, what's cool is it tells you right away, this iron deposit right here, it actually would take a spike saw upgrade for us to get it. So, 
we can't even get the iron even if we did secure this area, but there's other stuff. It just kind of gives us a clue as to what's here and what technology we're going to need. Now, by the way, you don't have to fully charge this up when you're using the water. You can kind of look at the size of it and there's you get a feel for how much water you're actually going to need. So you can not overwater the slime. Like this one is so big, needs a full blast. Medium blast. Big blast. Not gonna do it, but we're at 70%. Um, there is not water up here that I see, so I'm just gonna kinda go down, 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 fill us up. There we go. Alright, um, oops, wrong thing. So medium, and then just a little blast. Got it. All right, 78%. We're really rocking now. Okay. And, oh yeah, there's weeds. It makes my heart rejoice to see it. Okay. So let's get our vacuum. These are just so easy. Did it. Whole area. It's ours. The Stepstone Peak. And what's cool is we got it... Okay. Planetary Inhabitability Probe. Third generation, blah blah. First part's pretty self explanatory. I look at a planet and tell Earth if it can sustain human life. Third generation is, well, it took them two complete redesigns to make satellites that wouldn't break on their journey here. Suppose I should consider myself lucky. But we all knew sacrifices were necessary. Okay. So. We're back at the edge cliffs. You can see artifacts all over the place right here. So, might as well just get out. And... Beep, beep, beep. We can pick up a lot of these. Okay, you see there's one down here, can't be in the mech to get all of these, alright, and let's see, nope, got it, alright, so we need what, two more artifacts here? to figure out what this is. And, oh, here's our buddies. We can feed them. So I brought the nice fodder. Now, the nice thing about clearing that area, um, Stepstone Peak, was that we did it right at the end of the day, which means that all of the resources, you can see the iron right there, will repopulate. These cutscenes do provide you with a visual of where resources are. And you also see that there was some chromaze growing. Nothing like a good night's rest. Restoring that region yesterday felt great. Maybe there are some more good to be done around here. Keep a lookout, will ya? Alright, I'm just feeding as many of these guys as I can. And then there we got credit for it. Now, they probably dropped some resources for us. Let's go see if they did that we need to pick up. I don't see anything immediately, but this is going to be necessary for us to just make sure that we get enough copper.
Oh, we didn't need to feed that guy. He's already... Those are already fed. Sometimes it's hard to know, but there's only, I think, one animal type in each region of the same variety. So I don't need to feed any more of those guys, is I guess what I'm saying. These dudes I do need to feed. And one more. And in here... So there's some stone. And we've got enough done. Um, I think you get this from just restoring the stepstone peak. Which is... The radio tower quest. So they want us to go um, up there to do that. Merchants arriving. And I ran out of the food to get the full benefit because I fed the, the one guy extra. It's so sad. That's why you got to make bigger stacks. I just didn't have that much. Didn't want to use all my polyberry oil in one go. I'm going to get this uh, Karoot. Now, the merchant's there, but I'm not um, overly concerned about that at the moment. I'm going to go back to the radio be tower area because I want to go back to that zone and show you what's there. It's a carrot. Now it says resource discovered because we'd only found the seed so far. We hadn't actually grown one. Okay, and for the quest, they want us to go up that way. Oh, oh, but we still are missing some artifacts. Let me go down here. I think they're lying around on the ground. Guessing our water is full. No, they are not lying. There's one up there on the edge of the cliff. Okay. All right. So now we're back to Stepstone Peak. Tells you what father type you need. And let's see if I can spot... There it is, right there. This is one thing you're looking for here now that it's been restored. Is this. It's Chromaze. So this is the cool corn that we can grow. And we got one seed for it. Now, I'm going to run this way, and because I'm over here, I'm going to jump out, beep -a -deep -a -deep, and there's an artifact here. One more, and we're gold. Let's kind of jump up and see if we can spot the other one. There it is behind this slab. We did it. The landing pad. All right. So remember, you can open up your um, options and go into your kind of data collection to read all of that information. Now, I'm going to be going this way, though, because I want to try to get to the radio tower. So I'm actually going to just jump back down here. Oh, boy. Sorry, Mac. If I would have landed on flat ground, it would have been okay. But because I landed with one foot on that rock, you will get wrecked every time. Okay. So, uh, this is where we will see. For example, here's iron, but we can't harvest it. 
what else can we find here? We found chromes. And we found iron. And they want us to go over here for the radio tower. So I will, while keeping my eyes peeled. This is a gravel gourd. And we got a gravel gourd sprout. Stump. And we got hardwood. So, um, we found ourselves some hardwood there. Actually, um, large green tree. Hardwood. So these big boys are going to give us hardwood, so that's also worth mentioning. And we want to go this way. <laughs> to get to the radio tower. You see that purple? That means there's a artifact site there. Ancient ruins of some kind. If you want to explore it. And here we go. So the radio tower is actually in this yellow forest. So maybe it's not after clearing the stepstone. It's just more like after you've cleared a certain amount um, or passed a certain amount of time. I don't know what the trigger is for this radio quest. But when you get it, you All come right. up here. Looks like this spot is our best bet to catch that signal from before. If we build a radio tower right here, I bet you will be able to send a reply. So we could start building the radio tower, and you do it, you just push X, and you put the blueprint up already, but you need seven hardwood, and I can put, I have some hardwood, I just need to step away, and I'll add what I have, um, oops, there we go, I need five more hardwood, but I need five aluminum frames, three aluminum electronics, and eight copper ore, Now the only thing I don't like about this particular quest is that it doesn't remain. And what I mean is you can't look at the quest log to see exactly what you need. So you kind of have to just um, write that down or, you know, take a screenshot or just remember uh, and then come back. Uh, can I break this? Yeah. Now, you want to break this so that you uh, make water right here, which will allow you to have an easier time of uh, dispersing the slime. Yep. Store for us. If you're worried about alien monsters, don't be. These things have not moved an inch since I first arrived. Whoever used to live here has not been around for a long time. All right. So we're back at our house. How about that? And we can run over here and start doing some farming. Not raining today, so we're going to have to take care of our plants. All right, so we got... Karoot, which is great. And wheat, which is also cool. And here we go. Polyberry, well, you know. And Rabbage, which we want. Alright. So, let me get all this going. And then it's time to walk over here. And I'm going to press as much Rabbage oil as I can. And I'll press as much Karoot oil as I can. There we go, because you could see on the left, some of our um, upgrades that we're going for require both of those things. So I'm going to first plant um, Karoot. And then, um, oh, I got some more. Then we'll go ahead and get the uh, Ravage in. And we're planting everything. And then um, we'll get one chromase in. We don't have very much, but better some than none. And then wheat. Wonderful. And then the rest is polyberry, sure. Okay. So let's go ahead and get our irrigation hose and let's start watering it up. We need it all to be watered. All right, 
Gotta go get some more. No problem. So you see the vacuum harvester power. We have the copper wire. We're just waiting for Karut oil. Okay, so we've watered this. We did not water this. We didn't water this. Or this. This is good. This is not. There you go. Okay. Now that's everything watered. And we're doing beautifully. We have restored a new area. We have got chromes. We found iron. We're making um, carrot oil now for the first time. And we're also uh, trying to build a radio tower and progress the quest in that direction. Everyone, I hope you're still finding this series to be useful and fun. I want to say thank you so much for watching. I'll check you in the next one. Take care.